everything you thought about the global trading landscape is wrong. There is only one problem, one country, and one thing we all need to worry about. <laughs>From the outside, here's what it looks like. The US is waging a global trade war by itself. It's gone after its NAFTA partners. It's gone after the EU. It's gone, gone after steel and aluminum producers around the world. It looks like Trump wants to take on everyone and fight for his America first agenda. That is wrong. What's happening is that the US is threatening these countries with tariffs, with sanctions, with all other kinds of economic troubles and is bringing them to the negotiating table. We've heard leaks from the EU negotiations with Trump on steel tariffs and they say what we want you to do is to fight with China. They want you to take on China on abusive trade practices. Essentially what they're saying is we're trying to create a coalition of the willing or a coalition of the reluctantly willing in a trade war with China. 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 My belief is that in NAFTA negotiations, they are pivoting and saying, all right, we'll make a deal. We didn't really dislike NAFTA that much anyway, but what you need to do is get on board with us and when China comes calling, say, sorry, we're with the United States. We want to trade with the United States. We are willing to take a hit with China to keep that. So this is the battle that's brewing right now. And America is trying to line up trade allies around the world and then is going to start hitting China with sanctions and tariffs and all kinds of other trouble. Now China, it's unclear if they understand exactly what's about to happen. Their trade exports are going to be hampered globally. Now I don't think the EU or Canada or Mexico or many other countries are particularly eager to get on with this, but the US is twisting their arms in this dispute and saying you're either with us or you're against us. Every nation in every region now has a decision to make. Either you are with us, or you are with the China. So what happens next? The US hits China with steel and aluminum tariffs, hits China with another round of technology tariffs. The US is taking the China to the WTO on everything, and China is going to either hit back or is going to try and roll over it. And I think that's the next thing you need to watch. China might start to hit back and realize, wait, it's not us against the US, it's pretty much everyone against us, led by the US. And then they can either change or they can try to leg this out and get rid of Trump, outweigh Trump. China has always been about the long game Chinese President Xi was just appointed to what can now be a lifetime term as leader. Trump um, probably only has a few more years, at most six more years, and China might say, you know what, we can swallow some tariffs. We can continue to fight some skirmishes, even if it's a losing battle, and hope to win the war in the long term. And to accelerate that, they can hit back at the US, especially in some of the swing states that might be vulnerable in the midterms coming up in November. So I think that is what's most likely to happen. China tries to hit back in a targeted way, and then the US tries to escalate it from there with its trade partners. What does it mean for global markets? You know, if you're trading the Canadian dollar right now, for instance, you're worried about NAFTA, and suddenly NAFTA looks much better. And we may even get a NAFTA deal that's pretty much like it was before and you'd have a bit of a relief rally in the Canadian dollar. But if you realize that in getting that deal you're committing yourself to a global trade war on the US side against China, well maybe it's not such good news after all the commodity currencies, all of them 
are especially vulnerable to a dip in Chinese demand for raw materials. Secondly, I think you'll start to see strength in the yen. Equities aren't going to like this. Much of the marginal growth in consumption in the world is in China and anything that looks like a trade war is going to hit equities particularly hard and lead to a flight to safety into the yen. So yen crosses um, with the commodity currencies could start to look awfully good if this starts to shape up like I think it might. Watch very closely on how China responds, on how the US hits, and uh, this may all start to shape up really in the next couple weeks or so. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like this content. Uh, we just try to put out quality videos and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Remember, there is always another trade. Thanks so much for watching. For Forex Live, I'm Adam Butler.